so here's also a bonus. I ran my reconstruction through a AI agent algorithm um, called Facelab. It's actually a, an app that's freely available for anyone to use. But I got some really interesting results. Now these are unprocessed, fresh from the app. Um, so that it could do some extra work. But I want to show you first of all, the younger reconstruction because I saw some really interesting trends that came up when I pulled up the younger reconstruction. So when I pull it up here, first of all, there are some kind of facial features to notice that perhaps had gone over my head. So the first thing that jumped out at me is the lower portion of his mouth, the way it sticks out like that. I didn't even notice when I had created my reconstruction how much I had adhered to that in the original. So it wasn't a feature that I necessarily noticed. If you ask me what features did you kind of like really focus on, I'll tell you all the lips, making sure I captured that shape, make sure I got the, the nose was obviously a big one, you know, matching the nose on the obsidian statue and the very large ears and obviously the eyes making them protrude. But if you had asked me and the lower part of the mouth making that kind of like push out slightly, wasn't really even under my radar, but it's something clearly that is there you can see it there and it's an important part of why it looks like Sinistret's statues or Sinistret the third statues I should say now this is really accentuated when the AI algorithm you know makes it look younger you can kind of see that feature and what's really um, striking to me about this is when you compare the look of this younger version of Sinistret to a, his younger statues, but actually more tellingly, and this was quite interesting, if you pull up Aminemhat III, who's Sinistret III's son, um, it's almost a spitting image. I mean, you can see them here side by side. That is almost literally the same person. I think the only thing that I would need to probably enhance slightly to make this a perfect match, literally a perfect match, would be to slightly widen the face and to slightly bulgin <laughs> for want of a better word in bulgin i don't know but to slightly make the eyes a little bit larger i think those would be the only kind of two things that i would need to do and i would have like this this is a that, that's the same person so as you can imagine that's very gratifying to me because not only have i done a reconstruction that i've said to myself like, i'm going to try and be as true as possible to the comedic artwork I've run it through an agent algorithm and what it's kind of spat out at the other end is perfectly in line and in situ with the statues of not only a younger Sinistra III but also the statues of his son which is you know that kind of blows out of the water this whole idea that all of the comic artworks were just you know guesswork and you know random statues of beautiful people to you know appease the to appease the vanity of the rulers, the kings and queens of Kemet. That's, I mean, that's a load of rubbish. You have to sift out the Eurocentric lies. They will create a lie, just like they did with the noses and the iconoclasm. You know, they've done it with the statues to point people away from the fact that, hey, I know these look really, really African, but don't worry about that. Those thick lips and stuff, this was just a Kemetic art style. It wasn't, these were real people. These are real people, these are real features, and this is what they look like in life. Or at least this is my best approximation. I can't say with any, you know, telling authority that it looked exactly like this, but I can certainly say that I'm giving it a better try than most, um, yeah, reconstruction artists do. So there you go, so that's the younger one. Have a look at the older one as well, because this is, this, is, this is older. Now, obviously this is a, um, a fate, you know, an aging algorithm that's not tailored to the melanated man. So the reason I say that is because, you know, by and large, we don't wrinkle that much. So this is their kind of old filter, but this is for a melanated person, this would be ancient. Someone have to be kind of hundred years old to have this many wrinkles. We just you know our faces don't wrinkle that much. So this one probably needs a slight reduction in the number of wrinkles showing a little bit of retouching. If you want to show like a 70 slash 80 year old man, you'd have to reduce it slightly because, um, you know, melanated people don't degrade this much. But I still think what was very interesting is the eyes have 
further, you know, bulgened, you know, I'm using that word again, but they look more kind of like bulgy. And if you look at the statues of an older Sinister the Third, his eyes do look bulgier. So it's caught that really well. It's caught the kind of the drawnness and the, the gauntness of the, and the cheekbones are really kind of like sticking out at you. The only thing I think that's missed slightly is the face looks slightly wider. And in Sinister the Third's case on his older statues, the face actually looks slightly narrower. But that would be easily fixed. But I just thought that was really interesting how you could take the original reconstruction and once again, it just kind of qualifies the work that's being done here because we take the original reconstruction, we chuck it into an algorithm and the algorithm chucks back at us more artworks of either Sinister the Third himself or people within his family. So as you can imagine, yes, I find that very, very gratifying. <laughs> Thank you.